National Sunscreen Day is the perfect time to recognize the danger that comes with going to the beach, the lake, even the backyard. And experts say it's important to take cover 365 days a year, even if it's cloudy or you choose to stay indoors. Beauty expert Elena Duque is here now to tell us how to use and choose a sunscreen that's best for us and the environment. Hi, Elena. Hi, Aubrey. You look beautiful. Thanks for having me. We're happy to have you on the show. Now, let's talk about this. Why is it important to wear sunscreen all the time, even when we're indoors? Okay, so as an esthetician, uh, I was taught in school and drilled into me and every other student how important it is. And it's kind of interesting. You don't realize that there are actually two kinds of rays. UVA and UVB. So UVA are the aging rays and UVB are the burning rays. And UVA rays can actually penetrate through glass. They both can also penetrate through uh, clouds. So they are the only two that can actually reach the earth. So even if it's a cloudy day, those rays, you can't see them, but they're coming through. So that's why you need to wear them every day. And if you're sitting by a window indoors, you should be wearing it as well. And I know you're joining us from Florida, so you know a thing or two about those sunshiny days. We always hear the term SPF when we're talking about sunscreen and protection, but what does that really mean? What does it stand for? So it's kind of interesting. I actually did a poll on my Instagram and a lot of people didn't know, so that's why I'm happy to be here to educate. SPF means sun protection factor. And what that means is the number that comes after SPF, whether it's 30, 50, or 100, it's not how much sun protection you're getting, it's how long. So with SPF 30, you're getting about 97%. With SPF 50, you're getting about 98%. And with SPF 100, you're getting about 99%. There is no 100% coverage. And so that 1% isn't really making that big of a difference. The only difference is how long it's lasting. So use a minimum of SPF 30. Um, I would recommend for children at least using 30 or 50 uh, because you're, if you're out in a park or a sprinkler park or at the beach or the lake or something like that, you are definitely going to be there for a long amount of time. Yeah, and there's different kinds. I mean, there's obviously the lotions and there's the sprays, the aerosols. And as you mentioned, sometimes people think because the number is higher, it's got to be better. <laughs> Right. And it really isn't. So that's the interesting part. And uh, I think that uh, we need to talk more about that because as we know, yeah, we don't want to get the brown spots and wrinkles from the UVAs, but the UVBs are what really matter because those are the burning rays. Uh, they both do contribute to skin cancer, however. So it's really important not only to um, apply the right sunscreen, it's also reapplying. And one of my tips for that is to set an alarm. Uh, on your phone when you're out so that you remember because when you're having a good time it's easy to forget to reapply that sunblock right yeah and also another tip, yeah right and then also be really generous with it don't be cheap don't be shy <laughs> lather it on yeah because with my with my face creams you know I, I do very little you don't need a lot but with sun sun protection more is more so it's good <laughs> that's a good tip right there and as we talked about there's so many products on the market that offer sun protection. What's the difference between physical and chemical sunscreens? So physical sunscreens, which are also called mineral, so physical and mineral are the same one. Those are the ones that are thicker and they lay um, on top of the skin a little bit thicker. So you kind of think about that when you put it on. Those are the ones that don't really absorb in, but they do um, block the sun. So those have titanium dioxide, and those are better for children because they are not absorbed into the skin. Now, chemical sunscreens are absorbed not only into the skin, but into the bloodstream. They are FDA approved, but it's better if you have sensitive skin or for children to use the physical, AKA mineral sunscreens. Uh, they both do protect against UVA, UVB. Make sure you pick broad because broad means UVA and UVB. I'm sure you see that um, on the label, so that's what that means. This is great information, especially going into um, the summer season. Everybody should be thinking about sunscreen and what to use. So, um, and when we put it on, do we need to put it on everywhere? Anything exposed, huh? Everywhere, anywhere exposed. A lot of places that people forget, and I've seen it, they actually have been hospitalized for it, are the tops of the feet and the scalp 
and the ears. So the scalp is a big one that people forget. Even that one little line, if you have your hair parted, maybe you have your hair in braids, so more scalp is exposed. And there are different types that actually are made for that. If you go to your local drugstore, you will see there are ones made for hair and scalp. Very good. Well, Elena, this is great information. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. And you can get more tips from her and keep up with her on Instagram at Elena Duque Beauty.